what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Today guys, as you can see on the screen, we dropped four straight. Now you're probably wondering how did that happen? Um, the reality is, is if you go over to Chase Plays Madden's YouTube channel, you're going to see how that happened. I let him play on my name and uh, yeah, he dropped four straight. So unfortunately, we are in the situation right now where we have to win to stay in the All Madden second string division. Otherwise, we're getting demoted. So this is a pretty big game, guys. Uh, first time that I've actually really had an opportunity to be demoted. So I don't want that to happen. Going to try and walk away with the W here. But unfortunately, in this one, I'm actually going to get matched up with somebody who is a YouTuber. Or actually, excuse me, not a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer. Um, Good Game Sports. If you guys don't know who he is, go over to his Twitch channel. It's Good Game Sports. And then I think there's an underscore after it or something like that. But um, that is his PlayStation name as well. He's got a beast-ass team. Yeah, and we're going to see uh, that's going to come into play at some point during this game. But uh, it's kind of a decent matchup here. My team is pretty good as well, so uh, it's not like his team was massively overpowered. I think his team is probably a little bit better than mine overall, but uh, I think it was fair enough anyway. So getting things started here on offense on the first drive. Third and eight here, and we're going to make a glorious pass there. One-handed behind him, Calvin Johnson coming up with a beautiful snag there. And we're going to get off the edge here with Barry Sanders picking up some decent yardage here. Sets up now a second and four. And this is right where the chaos begins. Uh, this is one of the biggest problems that I see in Madden. Yeah, my center and my right guard just stand there while the defensive tackle runs by him for a sack. No blitz, no nothing. Just runs through completely untouched. That's Madden for you this year. So I'm a little bit frustrated. I'm going to go for it here on fourth down. And yeah, I'm going to throw it just an awful pick to golden ticket Taylor Mays. And he is going to take this thing to the house. A little celebration there to rub it in. Can't blame him. Uh, yes, yeah, very, very frustrating that we allowed that to happen. But man, when, I, when that sack happened, I was just so frustrated. I get so irritated when I play this game when stuff like that happens that I just cannot control. I mean, there's literally nothing that I could do about it. I mean, even if I saw it coming and I pinched my line, they're still going to get through some of the time. And you'll see that later in the game. So uh, a little foreshadowing for you there. But Barry Sanders picking up a nice gain there. And we're starting to attack the flats here against this defense that he wants to run. Uh, it's working pretty well for us. But that play, we do get hit. And again, defensive lineman comes through completely untouched. Sets up a third and 21. This time, we're going to hit Barry Sanders in the flats. He picks up a nice gain, but he takes a huge hit from Steve Atwater and he is going to fumble there at third and 21. We're in the red zone there. Had an opportunity to at least put points on the board there. I would, would have probably kicked the field goal there uh, if I had the opportunity. So it would be seven to three at least. But um, yeah, my opponent did force the fumble. He recovers it. Now third and nine for my opponent. And look at this play. Steve Young taking double contact there. Does not fumble. That is Ronnie Lott and I believe Jack Hamp both hitting him at the same time. No fumble. But you know, but, you know Barry Sanders is gonna fumble. So very, very frustrating for me. And here he's going to take off again with Steve Young. A nice gain there. Fourth and two. Pretty risky to go for it there. And he does come up with the first down. There we make a nice play. Jack Hamp making up for an earlier play where he didn't force a fumble. He does make the tackle at least there. But unfortunately here on third and seven, I do run some man coverage. And he exploits it there with a nice pass to Rob Gronkowski for the first down. Back on the ground with Bo Jackson. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he wasn't doing too much with Bo Jackson. I didn't feel, like, overpowered by Bo Jackson like a lot of times I do. But Bo is just such a threat that it throws off your whole game, you know? And right there, we do get a nice sack there toward the end of the first half. About 50 seconds left on the clock, so I do call it timeout there. But we're down 10 nothing. We've got to put up some points here. Right here, we make a nice screen pass to, Bo, uh, to uh, Barry Sanders. I almost said Bo Jackson. To Barry Sanders. That's my running back. Barry Sanders fumbling. Bo Jackson just being a beast. And then right here, Andrew Luck evading pressure and throwing it down the field there to our running back. Gordon makes a nice catch out of the backfield. Uh, so a nice play there. And we're going to bomb it here with about eight seconds left on the clock. Don't complete it, so that sets up a field goal here. So at least we got some points before the end of the half. We don't go into the half with a goose egg on the board. So it's a little bit of a con confidence boost there coming out of the second half. Now my opponent does get the ball to start the second half, and he's going to complete a nice pass there at Bo Jackson, and then a nice run here to pick up the first down. Again, Bo Jackson leaning very heavily on Bo, and Bo's going to take off here for a big gain. Probably one of his biggest plays of the game on the ground, if I remember correctly. A nice one there. Couldn't really complain. I mean, that's just the kind of play where it's it's tough. There's not a whole lot you can do to contain Bo Jackson on stuff like that, especially when he gets a nice block like he did there. But we do get a big sack there on Steve Young, and another one here. 
and that is going to set up a fourth down. So my opponent did decide to punt that time, so that was good. And now on this play, we're scrambling again, making plays on the run with Andrew Luck. He has a really good throw on the run attribute, as far as I can tell. I mean, I guess I haven't actually looked at the actual attribute lately, but I'm pretty sure he's pretty damn good at it because he's making some beautiful throws on the run. Right here, I tried to take off, and I get sacked, unfortunately. I'm not going to complain about that one, but this one, again, what the hell? Watch the D-tackle. He's rushing five guys. I get it. But come on. My, my center and my right guard need to actually touch that guy. Please. That is just so ridiculous. It's just beyond frustrating at this point. I can't even stand it anymore. So uh, the Nano Blitz gets through there again. I, I can't tell if my opponent's sending that on purpose or if it's just the game being that damn broken. But either way, man, it's just so frustrating. Third and nine here. And oh my gosh. Come on, man. Oh my gosh, we had a chance for a pick six there. At least we do get the ball back on the punt. There's about two minutes left on the clock, so we've got a chance here to try and bring this game to at least overtime, uh, if not winning it in, re in uh, the uh, regulation here if we go for two, but I'm usually not the one that's going to try and do that. We do pick up the first down here, though, with Barry Sanders. Third and five, kind of a risky play for me to actually run it there, but I did decide to do it because I was feeling like he was going to probably commit on the pass, and he did. But again, right here, we take another sack. He sent a pressure. When he sends pressure, I can't really complain when he sends six guys. But when he sends four or five like this, like, look at this nonsense. He's sending five and, and just, it's unbelievable. My center just stands there and lets him get through. He doesn't block anybody. What the hell, man? Sets up a fourth and 31. I felt like the pressure was going to get there again, so I just threw it up into coverage. If you watch again, he did get through, but my running back actually picked up the block that time because I set him uh, in uh, protection. So that ended the game. Uh, I'm not going to walk away with the win here. We are going to get demoted. Really frustrating, but I mean, overall, a good game by my opponent. I can't complain too much. He did outplay me in this one. We're getting demoted. So that's a little bit irritating, but what can you do? Hope you guys enjoyed the, the gameplay video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Hopefully we can come back next season, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.